Ole. Good evening and buenos nachos to all of you. Uh, this is Tastemaker episode 40. We hit the big 4-0. Um, good luck if you ever hit the big 4-0, but uh, we're here. So what are we going to do with ourselves? Um, well, first of all, uh, this is that time of year again where uh, I know a lot of people who have birthdays, about half of them before today and about half of them after today. Eh, kind of maybe most of them before. Anyway, there's a lot of people that have birthdays in September, beginning of October. And it's time to celebrate, hence the get up. So we are going to celebrate. Uh, and how are we gonna celebrate? Well, I have a drink that uh, we're gonna see if it's celebratory, okay? So I'll show it to you first to tease you, kind of tease you. See, looks kind of a purple burgundy kind of looking thing. Anyway, there's a reason for that. Why is the reason? That didn't make sense. Anyway, um, this is called a Mexican fizz. Oh. So with the Mexican fizz, well, first of all, there's all kinds of fizz drinks, right? Um, there's a Kentucky fizz, there's a bourbon fizz, there's a, I mean, there, there's a blue fizz and a yellow fizz. And I mean, there's all, there's all kind of fizzes. Um, I mean, there's a whole list. Probably one of the most common is a gin fizz um, or some form of the gin fizz kind of deal. This is a Mexican fizz, hence the name. And uh, I bet you can guess the alcohol in it. That's right, tequila. So there's equal parts, tequila, uh, creme de cassis. So you put Mexican and French together, Mexican wins. And, um, and then champagne. Ah, oh, so two Frenches, I guess one Mexican, Mexican still wins. So um, basically that's, it's just it's science. And uh, uh, so tequila, cream de cassis, which is like black currant, black currant, um, and uh, champagne, and uh, three equal parts. So the fizz, right, you get a fizz drink. Uh, every fizz drink has either like a, a champagne or a club soda, something like that. So they're to make the fizz part, right? So anyway, we know what our fizz part is, it's the champagne. I know you don't see the fizz in there, but it's in there, trust me. Um, again, there's only one ounce of each of in there, so there's not much of whatever. But heavy scent of creme de cassis, because the black currants are a, a strong. Let's just see how it goes. Cuatro, cinco, seis. Uh. Not terrible. <laughs> Not, uh, I feel like all I taste is uh, uh, cream de cassis, honestly. Man, that stuff is, that's got a strong taste to it. It's a liqueur, okay? It's a, a black currant. It's like a, it's a, it's a dark, almost looks like a dark, um, you know, uh, berry. Uh, blueberry grape kind of looking thing um, but dark like a blackberry so man that, that uh, cream de cassis is uh, strong so woo but you know what obviously on ice it's super cold the colder you make something the easier it is to drink that is also science and um, you don't taste the tequila whatsoever. You don't taste the champagne whatsoever. It just kind of dilutes the cream de cassis. And there's alcohol in all three ingredients. Who would say no to that? 
Now, I will tell my friends whose birthday it has been or will be. If you want some cream de cassis, just let me know. No need to go out and buy a whole tire, tall bottle of it. Just let me know. I'll send you some via FedEx um, or something. Anyway, everyone enjoy your weekend. Your uh, weekend, uh, we're in October now, just FYI. And uh, have a great one. Sunday.